A mysterious Manhattan-sized interstellar object has been blazing through our solar system and has exhibited some peculiar characteristics that have puzzled some scientists, and it's making waves on social media. Seven jets of gas or plasma are now emanating from 3i Atlas. This is not something that comets typically do. That look like a damn galaxy, fool. And that very well could be a ship. This Atlas, 3i Atlas, this comet, is really our galactic allies. So what exactly is 3i Atlas, and why is it so mysterious? In July, NASA's Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or Atlas Telescope, in Chile, made a groundbreaking discovery. A potentially billions-year-old icy celestial comet blasting through our solar system. The discovery marked only the third time a mysterious object from beyond our cosmic neighborhood had been observed passing through our solar system, leading scientists to name the comet 3I Atlas. 3I for it being the third observable interstellar object, and Atlas for the acronym of the Discovery Team and their telescope. In the space agency's initial announcement after making the discovery, NASA announced the comet was believed to have come from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius and posed no threat to Earth with estimations it would pass 150 million miles away from our only known home. But as scientists further analyzed 3i Atlas, the interstellar object started showing some unusual characteristics, leading to some disagreements, especially from one scientist, on whether the object was a comet at all. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb led the charge on the skepticism when he posted a blog in August claiming the cosmic nomad appeared to be emitting its own light. After Loeb and a colleague analyzed photos released by NASA of the object, the astrophysicist theorized that 3i Atlas's glow was likely not reflected from the sun, but rather from a source diameter smaller than 100 meters. The brightness profile analysis led Loeb to speculate that the nucleus of the object could be in fact nuclear and possibly an engine crafted by alien people. Though Loeb said they still needed better evidence, the astrophysicist also said that a nuclear-powered 3i atlas could also explain the object's suspicious trajectory. It comes very close to the inner planets other than Earth, uh, like uh, Jupiter, Mars, <clears throat> or Venus. And the chance of that happening, given the trajectory, um, one can change the arrival time of this object, and only in one in 20,000 cases you end up with uh, such a close proximity to the planets because they orbit around the sun and the chance of being so close to them uh, is very small. The unusual trajectory of this object uh, offers the possibility that it might have been designed uh, so as uh, to have some goals of a reconnaissance mission. But even with Loeb's alien theories now circulated in the media and online, NASA maintained that 3i Atlas was merely a comet, and fellow scientists also shared their own skepticism about Loeb's claims. It's irresponsible science. This is just coincidence, the path that it comes through the solar system. There's a perfectly natural explanation for this. It is behaving like a regular comet. Once it's close enough to the sun and earth and big enough to reflect enough light that we can see it, it just becomes another speck of light that's moving among the stars. And then, you know, they're discovering a lot of these every night. It was becoming interesting once you trace the orbit to something that's from outside the solar system. But whether scientists believe in 3i Atlas's alien origins or not, the celestial visitor has kept scientists on their toes. In August, an analysis of brand new images revealed 3i Atlas was covered by a conspicuous cloud of carbon dioxide, shocking space experts. The picture showed 3i Atlas glowing bright red with a seemingly threatening aura during a phase expected by scientists called outgassing. But even though scientists anticipated the outgassing phase as the object approached the sun, the object dumped out a conspicuous amount of carbon dioxide and a surprisingly small amount of water and carbon monoxide, according to experts, including Loeb. In a blog post, Loeb wrote that 3i Atlas's outgassing was 16 times more extreme than expected for a typical comet at the same distance from the sun. And as the comet continued its course closer to our star, Loeb started sharing starker warnings about the object. During an episode of the Soul Foundation podcast with Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna, 
Loeb said people needed to be skeptical about what the experts were saying. We have to be careful about experts They're declaring things as, as rocks in the sky because we produce some space uh, objects. And the question is whether other civilizations did as well. And of course, the UAP subject is a derivative of that because if we are visited by a technological object like 3 I Atlas, it could uh, either visit us or release uh, some mini probes that arrive at Earth and appear as um, UAP. And we need to be aware of that possibility. And the mystery surrounding the celestial object continued. As it sped closer to the sun, scientists from the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile reported a dramatic rise in cyanide and nickel outgassing, which changed the mysterious object's color from red to green. The object then started emitting a metal alloy never before witnessed in nature, known as nickel tetracarbonyl. Coincidentally, the type of refined compound is used in metal coatings in manufacturing, including in the aerospace industry, to strengthen surface materials. Loeb even accused NASA of withholding critical information about 3i Atlas when he told Joe Rogan on his podcast that the space agency had reportedly snapped an image of the celestial object when it flew by Mars, but that the image was never released. 3i Atlas came within 30 million kilometers of Mars, and it was taken by the high-rise camera on board the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is operated by NASA. You, as you remember, October 1st was the government shutdown. So October 2nd, the data was taken, but it was never released. I wrote to the principal investigator of High Rise, asked, can, can I get the data? I'm a scientist, you know, I, you can do the press release afterwards. I would like to see it. Right. No response. And as the object continued its journey through our solar system, it exhibited several more science dumping phenomena. While approaching its closest point to our solar star in a phenomenon known as perihelion, Loeb cited a report from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, which he claimed provided the first evidence of a non-gravitational acceleration by the celestial object. Loeb noted that while most comets get a slight boost when their ice turns to gas and spouts out like a jet, an event known as the rocket effect, 3i Atlas was showing way more zip than expected during its approach. As the object sped up, it also shifted colors again, appearing bluer than the sun, leading Loeb to speculate that if it wasn't a natural signature, it could also be a hot engine or source of artificial light. Images captured on November 8th of the strange object even led Loeb to theorize that the object had a complex jet structure, which could be a set of thrusters used for navigation of a spacecraft. Loeb also noticed that 3i Atlas was losing an insane amount of mass after making its closest pass of the sun, prompting the Harvard scientist to suggest that the object might have also exploded into multiple pieces. This dramatic weight loss would seem to point to the object's cometary makeup, but Loeb is not willing to rule out extraterrestrial origins just yet. Scientists are still certain, though, that 3i Atlas is just another comet, According to Futurism, on October 24th, the Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa finally picked up the first ever radio signal from the object after two failed attempts in September. The telescope reportedly detected radio absorption lines by hydroxyl radicals, which are created when water molecules are broken down by sunlight. The radio signal discovery now suggests that Atlas is a comet that's losing water when flying by the sun, and not a potentially hostile alien probe sent to do recon on our solar system. A lot of people have pointed telescopes at this. Um, the telescopes show in every way that this is a normal comet, um, but there are some voices out there that persist in saying it's aliens. So I'm here to tell you it's not aliens. Scientists will have a chance to determine whether Atlas is natural or technological when it makes its closest pass of Earth on December 19th, 2025.